I have to go well, for a referendum. Well, let me just say you? this. I think... I don't think the Prime Minister is just stubborn. I think she's floundering. And we're in a situation now where Parliament is literally taken out of her hands and saying Parliament's got to agree this. So we're part of those negotiations in Parliament mm. to see what sort of deal would be acceptable to us. And if not, we've said option on the table will be to go back to the people. I, I quoted you one comrade. Here's another comrade, Len <laughs> McCluskey. He says that having another referendum threatens the whole democratic fa fabric on which we operate in reality. It's not the best option for our nation. Well, he's, he's saying it's not the best option because he's saying that basically you'd only go back to the people in extremists if you can't get a deal agreed through Parliament mm. or if any deal you thought wasn't going to protect jobs in the economy, you'd have to go back to the people. And I think that's right. You've been in this game for a long time. You can hear the creaking of the coming split coming inside the Labour Party. There's oh. endless muttering, endless briefing. And of course, so far, nobody actually does anything. But getting quite close to the moment when they might well do so. I don't see why there's a need to. I really don't see why there's a need to, because on all the issues that people have raised as the potential for us that we're dealing with, for example, they're saying on Brexit, well, we're holding the party together on Brexit. Those are saying, well, we'll split if we don't get a people's vote. Well, we've still kept that option on the table and it might come about. Why split over that? That's ridiculous. And then